guys, it's Andy over at Falco K9 TV. I want to tell you about a brand new program we have here at the Academy, and that is the Bio Detection Dog Program. We've been working on this for about two years, and we just got recently uh, awarded a grant through the state of California to develop this program. Now, about two years ago, like I said, I was contacted by Dr. Jeff Ferrer of the uh, California Department of Public Health. He asked me if we could train a dog to help them combat contamination of E. coli and salmonella. Now, not only have we been able to show that the biodetection dog would be a useful tool for the regulatory side of the leafy green substance outbreaks, but we are also able to prove that the dog will be a useful tool for the industry side of things to prevent future outbreaks. Now, we were able to search acres and acres of land and to uh, detect any signs of any intrusion by wildlife or man in that regard as to the substances that cause the E. coli salmonella outbreaks. During some of our studies, we were able to locate things that we weren't even looking for, uh, per se, as far as some of the training aids we had either hidden or some of the things that we had preconceived ideas of. On one particular search, uh, Zero, the bio dog we have currently trained, located a plastic baggie and continued to go to it and alert on it. Uh, after uh, a couple passes and a couple times the dog alert on it, I finally asked somebody to look inside and sure enough there was used uh, toilet paper inside this plastic bag that somebody had uh, discarded in the area of the farmland. This is just one example of how the dog was useful in possibly avoiding a future problem in that particular parcel of land. So our first dog is Zero. She's a, a dog that we found in a rescue and she's a mix of some sort of cattle dog, Jack Russell Terrier, Rat Terrier type of dog and she passed our extensive testing and we created our first bio detection dog with uh, Zero. She's very effective. Um, we've replicated uh, the situations that she may be used in from searching uh, leafy green substances to boxes and to packages. Like I said before, uh, we took her to the uh, United States uh, Food and Drug Administration office in Orange County, where we conducted some extensive testing with several scientists, and um, she aced it. She did extremely well, finding now nine out of the 10 uh, packages containing uh, contaminants out of uh, 40 packages altogether. Uh, very minute uh, amounts of contamination. Uh, we took her to the distributorships and she searched several large boxes containing about uh, a thousand to uh, several thousand pounds of lettuce uh, with one minor contamination in one of those boxes and identified the box that had contaminants in it. So she did extremely well. We did some other wacky tests over the, uh, the last two years and all of them she did well. Uh, the humans might not have done so well, but uh, she was able to always uh, find the contaminants if they were in the area that we were searching. So she did extremely well. We expect that from all the dogs we train here at Falcon Canine Academy. So hopefully you are, uh, you've discovered a new program here uh, with us and uh, we'll be offering that to handlers and to uh, industry uh, customers in the near future. We are currently working still with the uh, Food and Drug Administration uh, and the Department of Public Health in California in setting up uh, how we're going to be doing their investigations. And as I said before also, uh, we've already conducted investigations where Zero was an extremely helpful tool to the investigators. And they are very, very pleased so far with what we've been able to do with uh, Zero, the bio dog. So thank you for this visit to Falco Canine Academy and Falco Canine TV. Have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.